Let's talk everything there is to know about markers. So there's two types of markers. There's your permanent markers like Sharpies, and then your, there's your washable markers like Crayola. Uh, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about both, but mostly these washable type markers. So Sharpies, we need to be careful because they are gonna go through our paper. So you wanna either make sure you have thick paper or something underneath mm -hmm. your paper if you're using regular copy paper. But Sharpies are great for areas that you don't want to move. You want them to be permanent. Um, so there's your Sharpies. If you have thicker areas or thinner areas, there are other sizes of Sharpie for you to use. Um, a lot of times I use marks a lot for those bigger areas to get thicker lines. Uh, and then there's a thinner Sharpie as well with a really thin point to get into those little spaces. Now, Crayola markers or other types of markers, there's two ways that you can use them when you're drawing. So if I use it straight up and down, I can get a really thin line. But if I turn it on its side and use the whole side of it, you can see I can get a much thicker area quicker. So if you wanna fill in an area, you wanna tilt that marker. If you're just tracing, you wanna keep it upright. So that's one way to get the most use out of your markers. One big thing that a lot of people don't know about is that you can turn these markers into watercolor paints as well. And you can do this by simply filling in an area that you want and I recommend using the markers fully before adding any of the water. So. Then I can use just a little bit of water, with just a regular watercolor brush, and use that to blend these colors and move them together. So this is great when you want more precise work. You want a hard edge, but then that softer center that might be hard to control if you went just straight to watercolor. You can see that orange catch yellow as we get into those areas. You can see I use Sharpie along this edge, so that's not going to move anywhere. But I can add a little water. And through here to lighten it. And once this dries, I could come in and add a second color over top in some areas. And blend that as well. Now, as you can see, my orange marker wasn't coloring very well. So instead of just pitching this marker, I can use it in this way because you can see I still got some beautiful color even though this marker was running out. The next thing I can do with this marker is, and you can see I already did this with one of my blue markers, but I can drop that marker into just some water and let it sit for a day or so. And then I have beautiful watercolor paints that I could use. And then once this is fully drained into watercolor painting, um, I can then take these dried out markers and upcycle them to Color Cycle, which is a program through Crayola Markers. Uh, and it can be any of the markers. It could be Sharpies, it could be Crayola Markers, it could be Mr. Sharp, any of these plastics, and they will recycle them for you as well. Um, so there are several ways that you can reuse your markers and reduce the waste.